this video I'm going to be talking about the center axis relock and I'm going to demonstrate the old school version basically where they use the weaver stance in the opposite eye to basically the modern version that we noted in John Wick. They're pretty similar. One's more adapted and uh, the other being the original works I think just as good but kind of for the weaver stance. Uh, but maybe not as versatile and it's a little harder to adapt to because you're using your opposite eye because if you're left eye dominant probably not going to be an issue but if you're a right handed shooter right eye dominant or left handed shooter left eye dominant you're using your opposite eye in the original where basically you're like this you have a traditional weaver grip right here of course 90 degree angle on both arms as you can see here and you're pretty close now the slide is only going to come back to about here so it can be pretty close to the face but your head is probably going to be back a bit and shooting like that so I'm going to go ahead and uh, demonstrate that and then I'll show how the accuracy is just for clarification the target I'm using is going to be the steel target but let me go ahead and show my hits right now I'm going to be shooting at this silhouette target I'm going to be aiming center of mass so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a side profile so you can see what it looks like when somebody is uh, shooting you know from the side so you can see how the recoil is and how fast you can actually get on target and then I'll show the target. Now keep in mind that this form of shooting is really designed for close quarters. This target is like 7 to 10 yards away, somewhere around there. So it's not going to be the easiest to use. This is basically to be used at uh, distances like I am from the camera, maybe, you know, two arms distances uh, out. So you're able to be close, but you're able to engage and maintain retention. If you look at my last video or you watch my last video, you'll see that. So. Let me go ahead and demonstrate. So this is going to be the original one. It's going to take me a second, but I like to put my thumbs together like this. But anyways. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of frightening using the other eye. But uh, anyways, let me show the target. So let me go ahead and zoom in there a little bit more. All right, so as you can see there, I was hitting off to the side a bit and I wasn't as centered as uh, the other style I was using, which you saw in like John Wick or whatever. Um, this isn't, again, this isn't designed for uh, longer range shooting. This is designed for very close. So within three to five yards or whatever, Basically, it's designed to be defensive. At least the original was designed to be a, something you use reactively and defensively. So, <clears throat> uh, it was kind of modified in the John Wick film from what I noticed where he wasn't using his opposite eye and he wasn't in this aggressive weaver stance. He was still in the isosceles or a modified isosceles, like a, a good fighting stance. But he was using his right eye and he was canting he was blading just a little bit and he still was able to maintain 90 degree angles with his arms and got mosquitoes coming out even though it's like raining. Ugh. So this is basically what he was doing and you can see it's still pretty close but let me go ahead and demonstrate. So I feel like this is actually a little bit easier to do. Uh, it's a little bit more versatile and here's the other thing if you're going to be shooting isosceles or modified isosceles you basically have your sight up and especially if you're going through close quarters your sight is already referenced like if you have a fiber optic or a painted sight or just big white dots you can reference them pretty easily but after about 10 yards mm, you're probably not going to get the best accuracy and you can you probably have the time to actually extend out and you know just shoot your shot but you know other than that you know it's a pretty easy system to use so let me go ahead and zoom in here the way that it was portrayed in the John Wick films it's really easy to use so you can see there all the hits are on the right side it's clumped up on the right side uh, for the most part from the modified uh, version I was using. Obviously your sights are not going to be like right on like a sniper but you know you're gonna it's gonna be off just a little bit and that little bit can make a big difference at range but again 
It's designed for somebody just outside of arm reach, and, but you're still trying to maintain retention. So you can have your isosceles clamshell grip, but just break the wrist to a 90 degree angle and keep your 90 degree angles exactly. So get a 90 degree angle, hold your gun in that way, get a 90 degree angle, hold the gun. And that's basically, you know, how close it's going to have to be. But, uh, so, yeah, it's not going to be the most precise method of shooting out there, but it's a good tool to have in your toolbox, but it's not really taught that much. We're not saying shoot like this. It's just a natural cant in order to get that 90 degrees, and you're still able to use your dominant eye. And here's the other thing. If you're going to rotate out... Like say you're in a hallway and you're scanning around while you're moving, this can actually be used offensively as you're moving through and you can hold good retention and pretty good recoil control, but if somebody happens to pop out in a hallway at a distance like, like this target is for me, you can actually just rotate out and do that. The traditional method, you couldn't really rotate out necessarily unless you wanted to stick with your left eye it requires some movement but you can actually rotate out and engage that way it's not that hard to do it's not that hard to adapt and adjust but you know some people are critics of this it's something that kind of died away from what I remember it kind of died away it was kind of a niche skill because it took some retraining with the eyes and using the weaver stance, but it seemed to have been adapted uh, when uh, <clears throat> seemed to have been adapted for the film. So, yeah, it is what it is. But, anyways, let me know what you think of this video, and you guys have a good one.